with one hand, but um, he says that, well, how do we go about then showing the love that women need, and how do we go about the women showing the men the respect that they deserve? So what I want to start with is actually the women's part, okay? I want to start with what the women should be doing to see if, if this guy is kind of trustworthy as far as his understanding of men and what men need. So he uses this anachronism called chairs. So men need chairs. And that stands for... Now these sound a little bit funny at first, but, but stick with them here. What chair stands for is C is for conquest, H is for hierarchy, a is for authority, I is for insight, R is for relationship, and S is for sexuality. Okay, now listen to these though, put out a little bit more. So C for conquest, you think, well, hey, what are you talking about? I don't need to conquest everything, I don't need to conquer everything, that doesn't matter, that's not me. Here's what he means by that. He says, men have a desire that, um, for the woman to appreciate his desire to work and achieve that she would appreciate his desire to work and achieve. So that's the first one. H, hierarchy. That he has a desire for her to appreciate his desire to protect and provide. That he wants to protect and provide and he needs her to see that and, and admire it and desire it and respect it. Authority. He wants her to appreciate his desire to serve and to lead. But the man wants to serve his family. He wants to lead his family. And he needs her to respect that and to honor that. I is for insight. Men need her to appreciate his desire to analyze and counsel. Right? Now, don't you hear that sometimes? Oh, you're analyzing too much, you're thinking too much, you're trying to solve the problem or whatever. And, well, yeah, we want to try and solve the problem. I mean, what's wrong with that all the time? So, so there's a quality of our desire to analyze and to counsel and that we want her to, to admire that and to see the good in that. And that we're actually trying to love by doing that. R is for relationship, that um, he wants her to appreciate his desire for shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder friendship. Actually, that you, that you want to be friends with her. In fact, in America, most men in America have only one friend, and it's their wife. And that's a good thing, that they're friends with their wife, but also... Um, Groups like this are important because we want men to have more than just one friend. Um, and hopefully even a good male friend, because um, there's something really important in that too. So that's why it's great to have evenings like tonight. But men want to be friends. They don't want to be fighting. They don't want to be stressed. Um, they just, you know, let's just be friends. Okay, and then S for sexuality, to appreciate his desire for sexual intimacy. Okay? All right. And a word about that. So it puts that in here, and it's telling the ladies to really be open to the importance of sex for men, okay? Now at the same time, what it doesn't say, but I'm going to say to you, uh, guys, you have a duty to reign in the lust, though, okay? That doesn't give you an excuse to just be lusting everywhere all over the place, but there is that balance, and so you got to go find that balance. Okay, so does that, does it sound like he understands men at least pretty well? At least decently enough to, to hear what his advice might be? So maybe he's going to be able to say, okay, how can we act so that women feel loved? 